While it may look like a brand new Invercargill city centre, the plans for the inner city redevelopment show a tribute to the city's heritage. In a progress report on Monday, HWCP Director Scott O'Donnell showed plans to incorporate the facades of certain heritage buildings in the rebuild, as well as plans for new buildings with their own heritage vibe. We've got a wonderful historic frontage on Esk, those two. We've got um, that Thompson building of Beauty and Beyond on Kelvin. And also what we've done with the new look on Tay is it looks like it's historic. Because we actually, we, all of us like historic buildings. Also we've got to find a way forward. It's a case of what we can do that's sympathetic and also using new materials to create things that look the right period. O'Donnell said the company had been in discussions with Heritage New Zealand about the state of particular heritage buildings affected by the rebuild. He said they understood certain buildings were beyond repair. The government life's held together with four by twos and stroppers because one of the columns is cracked and it's so full of asbestos and weeping porous rebar it's almost dangerous. So we've just got to go and deal with that. We work very closely with Heritage and look we had some very long detailed discussions but they understand the need to go and trigger. So it'd be great to keep everything but it's not possible to. Invercargill Deputy Mayor and Heritage Month Coordinator Rebecca Amonston said retaining the facades was a good compromise for the city's heritage buildings. I think it's really great that there's been a compromise and that some of the heritage building facades are being retained um, and I know that Heritage New Zealand has worked really closely with HWCP to help make that happen so that's really fantastic. O'Donnell said each facade would cost around $1.5 million and that retaining them for the rebuild was entirely subject to funding. Sharon Rees, The South Today.